Welcome into the Oklahomans Video Studio. We are honored to be joined by this gentleman right here, Mr. Rohan Rajiv, runner-up last year, the 2017 Scripps Howard National Spelling Bee. Congratulations. Thank you. It's great to see you again. Um, we're heading towards the Oklahoma State Spelling Bee, which you won last year. Congrats on that, by Thank the way, you. as well. What are you up to these days? Um, well, I'm in high school at Emma Memorial High School this year. Um, it's definitely a big transition from Oklahoma Christian School, which was my former, former school, which I had went to for um, many years. Um, but yeah, I really like it there. Um, I can I'm taking a lot of uh, challenging courses, including some AP courses, and I'm really staying involved this year. So well. what are you studying these days? Um, I'm really into math and science, so um, I'm, ta I'm also competing in a few other um, competitions in science as well. Um, and so I'm trying to really hone in on my skills in that as well. So. All right, very good. We'll ask him about his future plans towards the end of this conversation. But let's start with spelling, since that's the topic here. What got you into spelling, and how did you figure out, or your parents figure out, or somebody figured out, I can put some, some letters and words together here? Yeah, so I, uh, I competed in my first competition in third grade, um, and that was at the school level, and so I had won that B. Um, and I went on to compete in the District B. Um, and so this was uh, with the, the associ association called the um, ACSI, which is Association of Christian Schools International. Um, and so it was a smaller level than Scripps, but I still got some um, like experience with those Bs. Um, so it was really fun, um, and so I kept doing it um, f through fourth and fifth grade, um, and eventually winning nationals in seventh grade. Congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. You've been successful every turn here. How much of an impact has your family played in your competition, um, in your study? Yes, they've played a huge impact. My mom has always been um, quizzing me and working hard with me to um, help me do the best I can. My um, dad as well has been um, just provided so much financially. Um, and probably most importantly, my sister, um, she taught me the alphabet uh, when she was five years old. Um, and she was actually diagnosed with a severe neurological disorder when she was, um, when she was around five years old as well. Um, and so she's really inspired me and motivated me to work hard at everything that I do. And the spelling bee is one of those areas which I wanted to excel at because of her. Very good. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Let's talk spelling bees. Uh, mm -hmm. How was that in uh, the Oklahoma competition? It was really cool. I thought... Um, it was my first experience or journey with scripts, so um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, so, but I did uh, meet a few people there, which I have um, met later on um, a few times now and then. Um, but it was a really nice experience. I got to um, compete, and it was really fun in general. All right, so as we watch the students compete in the Oklahoma Spelling Bee, uh, what are they going through, just based on your experiences? What's going through their mind? What sort of stresses? What are they thinking? What were you thinking? Um, I think a lot of, of the time the stress they place on is by themselves, um, just to compete um, well and just um, obviously win. Um, but my best advice to them would be just to stay confident um, and focused on that day as well and through um, just study hard. Um, and you know that you'll do well if you have studied hard and um, I would just tell you to have fun. Um, it's not an experience you get to have very often. Um, and it's just, it was a blast for me as well. So. It's fantastic mm -hmm. advice throughout anything you uh, go through in life. A lot of times the stress is stuff that you put on yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you can relax and have fun, it's a better experience. Right. Easier said than done, right? Mm -hmm. What was your trick in studying? Um, so I would go through lists and books that past finalists and winners had um, studied and gone through. And so basically I would study them and my mom would quiz me on the words that I'd studied. And we'd mark highlighted, uh, we'd mark the words that I missed um, and highlight them. And as I would study, I would annotate and make notes on words that um, I thought were tricky. And I just kind of noted etymological um, patterns and um, just other uh, patterns that I found with words. So that's what you would look for mm -hmm. is you would find a pattern. Mm -hmm. um, what was helpful for you when you were on stage when you were dealing with the judges? Was it origin or, or what would you? Yes, so most of the time I asked all of the questions that I possibly could. Um, and so I think that even though even though you think you know a word for sure, um, it's always good to um, kind of make sure that you're, you're spelling 
the word correctly. And so um, I always went ahead and asked all of my questions that I could. Because you have one shot at it, right? Right. You might so as well you don't want to, questions out. Yeah. All right. What was the national be like? Oh man, that was uh, that was truly an incredible experience. I had, um, again, I'd never, I didn't really know what, what to expect since this was my first time on such a big platform. But um, it was, it exceeded my expectations. It was, uh, B Week was just a blast. I had, I got to meet um, a lot of new people that had the same interests as me, um, and it was just, I, it was really organized and um, it was. I loved to compete. It was, although it was quite nerve-wracking, I did find it very fun and exhausting, right? Right. It was. It was definitely exhausting. It was um, over. It was three days of competition with a written round, preliminary rounds, and uh, the semifinals and finals. What's the writing like? What's the written round? Um, so the written round is when you. Um, they basically give you 12 spelling words and 12 vocabulary words. Um, they're all. The vocab is multiple choice. The spelling, this year they changed it so that you have to write out the spelling instead of multiple choice. Uh -huh. And so, yeah. The, and then they have also a bonus um, spelling question and a bonus vocab question, which is worth three points. Not really bonus, but it's just worth more. So, Any more spelling bees in your future? Um, no, this is the uh, last one in my, um, for my eligibility. So. You age out, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, maybe? Um, I'm not quite sure. I've, I'm coaching now, um, so um, yeah, I really enjoy that, just getting to um, kind of relive those experiences with my students. So I saw that you have a website, and, mm -hmm. you, and you admitted afterwards, hey, I want to coach, tutor, help others. Mm -hmm. How has that been to be on the other side of that? It's been, uh, really, it's been really different, especially because I've been doing it for so long. Um, now I can kind of get that perspective from what my parents felt as if um, I'm trying to help sure. them. Um, win and do well in competition. Very good. Um, when we were chatting before we got rolling here with uh, Rohan Rajiv, you were talking about you spent part of your summer shadowing a neurologist. Mm -hmm. Why and how did that go? Um, part of the reason why I want to go into neuroscience is because of my sister. Um, and so I kind of want, I've, I've always had that passion to help her and help other people like her that had that condition. Um, and so I contacted her neurologist, and she allowed me to um, shadow her at Integris. Um, and so I've just throughout these opportunities, I want to praise Jesus for just letting me um, compete in the spelling bee. And even with these things like that, I'm going to go to do on later in life. I just want to praise God and thank. Um, with, without Jesus, I wouldn't have been able to get this far. Um, and so I just want to um, say that. Very good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. On all your success with the spelling bees and in life. And best of luck with everything moving forward. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.